I'm Lon. And I'm TJ. And we're with Vertra. In this video, we're going to talk about the lighting options that Vertra offers for use in our training simulators. Um, Lon, sitting here on the table, we've got three different lights. Um, all of these work within our training simulators. And uh, I mean, I'm looking at these. These look like the lights I used when I was a street officer. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, One of the things that we push for is how critical it is that we, we actually obtain physical fidelity. Mm -hmm. um, within simulation, physical fidelity and psychological fidelity are the two most important aspects. Uh, with these one, uh, particular products, they are literally the external bodies of an OEM product. Okay. You can't get a better physical match than a one-to-one. -one. Yeah, so the, these are actually using, so this, this is the uh, X300, so this is actually a real Surefire housing that we've... Uh, been able to convert to use within our simulators. Correct. That's great. Uh, one less thing to uh, distract or take away from uh, the training uh, compared to real life. Correct. That's awesome. Um, you know, another thing that happens in real life and we should train to is more than one officer on a call. I mean, we're going to use flashlights in a number of different situations. Let's say a, a burglar, you know, alarm or, or an entry to a house or a building. They're going to have two, three, four officers going in. We have those scenarios in our simulator. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, what do you do if you got you know three different officers going in there? Do you just have one light? No, that's the one thing that's really nice about the, our product line is that I can have three or four officers. I can have multiple officers on the same screen, and all of the lights work. There are some limitations with some of the other systems that are out there. That's not a limitation that we have. So being able to put four people in there and have each one of them running a light is a, is a critical component. Um, and now they're going to be moving their lights around within the sim. Um, is, you know, is this system, because I know some of the competitors have issues with tracking this. Is it going to be able to follow the officer's flashlight across yeah, the system? Yeah, we have what's called our V-Lux system, and, and what you'll actually see is the light goes across the screen as it's smooth pursuit, smooth tracking all the way across. Mm -hmm. um, anytime I, I start seeing a, a drastic change that doesn't match reality, I break immersion. Okay. Um, and if I have a, an incident where my flashlight takes time to catch up to another screen as I'm moving it around, it breaks immersion. Well, I need that immersion for somebody to suspend disbelief inside simulation. And that's one of the one of the cornerstones that Virtua operates on is to make sure that the immersion exists and we take those those painstaking details to ensure that it's there. Yeah, I agree with you. Immersion is what makes the training so valuable. And uh, I couldn't imagine moving my flashlight across the screen and the flashlight beam is, you know, three or four feet behind where I'm pointing. Right. Uh, it's just not going to work. You know, one of the other nice things uh, to help with immersion and make it real is uh, that bounce lighting feature we have. Yeah, bounce lighting is impressive technology. Um, if, if I step into a room and I activate a light, I know that that image is going to be brightened, but there's going to be light cast off of it on, on other objects, other items. And the closer they are, the more they're illuminated. And our, our bounce lighting technology does that. So if I'm activating a flashlight on one screen, the screen next to it and the items on it are now lit up a little bit more. And as I get further away, it's less illumination, but it mirrors what we actually see in real life. Yeah, that that's a great feature. And, and you know, one of, one of the coolest features that uh, I think we're the only ones that have this, or not all of our competitors have figured this out, but we actually got lights in here. Yeah, so the, the lights that are in there um, actually will illuminate real-world space. So okay. if I want to bring in role players or a training dummy so that I can make that transition from screen simulation to the training environment and have that multiple layered effect, um, you know, whether it's an innocent individual who I'm having to do triage on or an officer down, officer rescue, or even navigating the environment, mm -hmm. being able to navigate real-world space and then transition smooth and seamlessly onto the simulation it gives us a real advantage in training. Yeah, I think it's, impo it's important to point out that the, these lights that you see here, this is not what illuminates the screen. That would just wash it out. Right. Uh, we have a, a infrared laser in here that works without a lens. So that's one less thing that could break or come off or break uh, the training cycle. Um, but, you know, that infrared laser is what is tracked across and uh, puts that beam effect in the simulation versus just washing it out with beams of light. Correct. That's awesome. Uh, another set of great product lines. We've got three different models. So, um, you know, we covered 
all the major manufacturers out there and what all officers are using out on the field today. I think it's great. Well, we'd like to thank everyone for watching uh, this video on our lighting systems that are available. Uh, once again, I'm TJ. I'm Lon. Train hard. Stay safe out there.